Flipped classrooms, also known as flipped learning or inverted classrooms, are starting to become a popular new way to change up the traditional style of how a classroom is formed. Some people don't really like the way the cla uh, traditional classroom is set up now with a lecture during class and then doing homework outside of the class. I wanted to explore a different way of setting up the classroom that could improve students' grades as well as allow the teacher to more individual time with students. I have discussed flipped classrooms in my other classes, so I wanted to do more research to find out if, it, if this is something that can actually work. Can flipped cl classrooms work for everyone at all ages, specifically looking at high school students? Can it work for all subjects? How can using technology change the classroom setting? Does having flipped classrooms eliminate the need for good teachers? Flipped classrooms are set up in a way that allows students to use digital technologies at home to get the information that an in-class lecture would give you and then you have to, and then you have to devote class time to review content that wasn't understood, have time for group work, take field trips, have guest speakers, and learn through hands-on activities. Instead of instructors standing in the front of the classroom spewing out information, they become coaches that encourage students to engage in knowledge. It allows students to become agents of their own learning rather than the objects of instruction. The types of digital technologies aren't just limited to videos, but can also be podcasts or other forms of audio. The structure of a flipped classroom was started by two chemistry teachers in Colorado. They would record their lectures and demonstrations for students who were sick or frequently missed end-of-the-day classes. They noticed that students began interacting more in class and students were, who were behind were able to receive more individual attention. They are also the founders of the nonprofit Flipped Learning Network. Flipped classrooms can have many benefits. In a traditional uh, lecture, students often try to capture what is being said at the instant the speaker says it. They can't stop to reflect on what is being said, and they miss significant points because they are trying to follow the instructor's, word, instructor's words. With a flipped classroom, students can watch the video lectures multiple times and pause, rewind, or fast forward as needed. There have been a few times that I have gone to a lecture and recorded it on my computer so I could refer back to it when I was studying for a test. Now looking back, this just seems pointless. Teachers can also become more involved with their students' learning and meet them where they are instead of the other way around. Flipped classrooms also allow parents to get involved in their child's learning. They can watch the videos and learn along with them and help them better understand tricky information. There is little research on the effects of flipped classrooms on student achievement. One study done by the Flipped Learning Network looked at how flipped classrooms affected Byron High School in Minnesota. The performance of Byron, of Byron High School's students in math was very low. In 2006, fewer than one-third of students passed the state's mathematics test, or the Minnesota Comprehensive Assessments, and ACT composite scores averaged 21.2. The efforts to address the needs of students were limited by the fact that the school was facing a financial crisis which made replacing outdated textbooks impossible. In 2009, Byron's math department adopted the flipped learning model. After flipping their math class, the teachers found out that engagement increased. By 2011, nearly three quarters of the students passed the state math test and the ACT composite score improved to 24.5. Another study was also done at Clintondale High School in Michigan. Clintondale High School is located in a close-in suburb of Detroit, and three-quarters of the students were minorities from low-income families. In 2010, the school implemented a uh, flipped classroom for all freshman classes. By the end of the first semester, the school was seeing results. Failure rates dropped by as much as 33 percentage points. The number of student discipline cases fell from 736 in 2009 to 249 in 2010 to 187 in 2011, a drop of 74% in two years. There are some implications and downsides to flipped classrooms. Recording lectures requires time and effort, and a lot of teachers also may not know how to work the technology needed to make flipped classrooms work. Some teachers also don't actually record the lectures themselves and just use other videos that are online. Some students also may not have the ability to afford the technology needed to watch the lectures in their home after school. Some people are worried that schools start using flipped classrooms, then there isn't a need for good teachers in the classroom. 
Flipped classrooms also put more of the learning responsibility on the student, which can be a risk. They also don't work for every subject. Some classes are more discussion-based, and a flipped classroom wouldn't be fit. Using technology inside and outside of the classroom can open up new ways of learning for students. Using technology with flipped classrooms allows students to take the knowledge home with them. This is only made difficult if students can't afford the proper technology to watch the videos or hear the lectures. Some schools also give out DVDs of the lectures or supply low-income students with the proper technology. As time goes on, I see this becoming less and less of a problem. Pretty soon, everyone will have an easy access to the internet and at least one thing in every home that connects them to it.